All right, we're in a 2007 um, Audi A4. Same thing for 2007 and 2008. Um, as far as uh, 2009 convertible, it's the same radio. Dashboard's a little different, but the center console's the same, so you can follow this too. Uh, today we're gonna install the Denshin GW1L, GW1L AI2. Uh, it's a new simple adapter from Denshin. Track up, track down, iPod and auxiliary. Um, all right, first thing you do is you're gonna take out the radio. Always cover your shifter. You know, you don't want to scratch it up. So it just puts a towel down, a sweater, whatever you got. This is actually a drawer liner. Um, you're going to take your radio keys with the notch facing inward. So, notch facing to the left on the right side. And on the left side, notch faces inward, so notch faces to the right. Alright, then you're going to apply a little CS so spring action. You're gonna apply a little, just a little tug here and then a little tug on the other side. You don't wanna to tug too much on either side because then what happens is the, the things that hold it in get locked against the wall and you won't be able to get it out. If that happens, if, you, if you're having a hard time getting out, push everything back in and start all over. Actually, just a little bit. All right, once you see it pop out like that, I already got release on all four. You just pull like that. There's little locking tabs on the side, just push them in to release the keys. All right. Now, for this unit, you don't have to, once you pull out the radio, you just unplug the antenna like so. It's just a little tab on the bottom. And then when you look over here, for this adapter, also make sure you take out all your CDs because if you uh, flip this over while the CDs are in, you're in trouble. For this adapter, all you have to do is take this little blue connector out and ground it. Um, you won't need the radio code as long as your radio's factory. If you unplug it, it'll plug back in without a code. Um, just to be safe, you know, maybe not everyone should take out the radio. Um, I mean, disconnect the whole power, because as long as you don't disconnect these, you're not, you don't need a code at all, ever. But if you just disconnect this and then replace the other one, um, if you just disconnect this and replace it with the kit, you, you'll be fine. I'm gonna disconnect the radio just because it's easier to show you what I'm doing. All right. So that's pretty much it. This is what the connector looks like. The blue one is a CD changer one. All right, in this case, you're just gonna take this right out and replace it with the other one. Uh, if you have factory satellite, this will disable the satellite. Um, we have sat passes that will allow you to keep the satellite. Those are done in a different video because the install is all the same. So this one, we're not gonna uh, show you how to do that. But let me go get the product and we'll show you how to put it in. All right, now that we got the radio out, this is the adapter, uh, Denshin GW. Uh, 1L AI2. This is designed for Audi radios with the blue connector. Now, if you have a navigation radio or if you have the factory iPod adapter in the glove box, there's a different version that plugs into there. Um, but you, you must have either the iPod dock or the CD changer in the glove box. If you have just an iPod cable, the one for the glove box will not work and you must use this one. All right, so I'm gonna take out the box. You have the iPod cable. Make sure you saw that. All right, and then you have, I'm at the iPod cable, the car connection cable. Here's the box. All right, has the, this is where you connect the iPod, this is where you connect the auxiliary. This is the thing. That's the uh, car connection side and then the back. And then of course it also has the four foot iPod cable. All right. So what we're gonna do for these, um, this is this is what's called the posi lock. It's a way to tap in a the the, the ground because this unit, when you look at it, it has the car connection cable and then the ground is separate. All right. So the the normal way is to cut that back and and tap it in. Um, this is easier for people who don't do this every day. You know, a lot of people are afraid to cut the wire. You know, I, I mean, I can work on cars, but I'm afraid of home electrical, as silly, silly as that is. Um, and the radio on this one has small torque screws, so you can't really ground it to the radio. So, on this car, I recommend using a posi lock. What it is, is that when you unscrew this, it has a little needle, and that needle will pierce the, the wire. But unlike other things, it will just pierce and split, so it doesn't take any strands with it. So, we'll have another video to show you how to do posi locks better. Pretty much just put it a little further back and just screw it.
and just like a meat pilot, it's right there. All right. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew this side. All right. This is where the joining wire goes. I've already stripped this down here um, for you know for video purposes. Just cut off about a three quarters of an inch. All right. You're gonna put that there. You're just gonna insert the wire in here. So you gotta twist it, make sure it's fine in there. Alright, and you know what? It looks like I cut too much. It only needs a little bit. Let me trim some of this off and I'll be right back. Alright, so apparently my memory is off. This is about all you need to take out. So I'd say probably quarter inch, maybe a little. It's between a quarter inch and a half inch. Alright, so then what you do is you put the little blue thing over it like so. Right, then you insert this into here. Make sure it goes all the way in. All right, and then once you put it in, you just screw it. And the screw action actually pushes the wire against the metal pin in there. That also makes the connection here, and now you're grounded. As far as this side of things, oops, all you have to do, hold down on that little blue connector, a little blue tab, I mean, pull it out and then the blue one from the dention comes in. All right, and then this connects to the box over here. All right, and then we run the cables. Let me uh, zoom out so we can show you how to run these cables. All right, now we're gonna show you how to run the iPod cable. Uh, this unit has both an iPod and an auxiliary. All right, so the cable runs pretty easy. Um, all you gotta do is grab the head of this cable, all right? And then over here where the carpet meets, you just run your fingers, all right? So when you put your fingers in here, you're gonna feel like a little carpet, which is the insulation. So you're gonna go like that. Stick your hand over on this side. Just make sure it gets past the insulation. All right, and then you're just gonna push up. All right. Pulls up just like that. And just to show you it wasn't a fluke, I'm gonna run the aux cable right behind it. All right, see, no trick photography. It's not like it took me 20 times and now I show you, look, look how easy it was. This goes here, this goes here. All right, I recommend taping these down. So we're gonna grab a piece of tape, wrap it around. Um, does it come with a zip tie anymore? No, no zip ties in this box. But yeah, just grab a piece of tape and wrap it around. Um, this goes back in here. Actually, you want me to grab that tape and I'll finish up the whole install pushing it back so you can see. All right, I went back and got some tape just to show you. I wanna show you like I'm cutting it out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come right here. Make sure there's enough just to be straight, but you don't wanna put enough, you don't wanna put pressure on it. This is just so no one pulls it out of the dashboard. Not pull it out of the dashboard, pulls it out of the adapter. So if someone pulls on this now, it's not gonna put tug on this because you know, if you're on a long trip, someone pulls on it, you don't have your keys on you, what are you gonna do? All right, now that we have that taped up, it's time to put the radio back in. This is the blue connection uh, that was originally on the radio. If you're not using the satellite, don't worry about it. So you're just gonna tuck it back there. Uh, the adapter, there's plenty of room for it. I mean, you could probably hide five or six of these back here. So, if you're worried about, also cover the shift knob. If you're worried about, you know, it being tight back there, some Audis are, this one's not at all. All right, so we're gonna plug back in the antenna, plug in the whole quad lock now. All right, just do a little quick look back there, make sure nothing's pulled up. And that goes it.